Hey everybody, it's Darcy. Well, I've been gone for about nine days. And it's funny because someone actually emailed me and said, Darcy, where are your videos? Because I usually put out two to three per week. And it's funny because I haven't taken a break. I just haven't done anything good enough I wanted to make a video of. I've got, I've been trying fish. I've been trying some birds. I've tried been working on an aardvark. And every time it's just turned out like garbage. So I just didn't do any videos. But one of the worrisome things I had going was when, you may not know this, when you've got a YouTube channel, if you don't keep putting out content, people start to unsubscribe. So I've actually lost about 10 subscribers. Got a couple, but lost a few. And it was hard because I was, I was going, oh, I gotta get another video out. And I would say it in that really loud, loud high pitched voice. But then I'd panic and I'd try even harder to just get something out quick and it just turned out bad as well. So here is a video. I'm back. Not that I went anywhere, but here's my next video. It's on a hummingbird. Fascinating little birds. And uh, hope you have a great day. Looking forward to uh, Shark Week coming up in uh, July 22nd it starts. And I've got a whole bunch of goofy little things typical for my channel. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Hey everybody, it's just me, Darcy, sitting here in my hummingbird sanctuary I have set up in my home. You can possibly hear a couple in the background as I do this video. Uh, hummingbirds are the, as you can imagine, the smallest known species of bird. There are uh, several, a uh, couple hundred different species and they're broken down into basically nine different groups. They have evolved um, over time based on for example, competition, um, the region they're in, trying to get uh, food and such. One of the biggest examples, and you'll notice it on my hunting, hummingbird that I'm painting, is uh, some have like a very straight beak, others have long beaks which may have sort of a curve in them and that basically helps them get the pollen and the nectar out of the flowers. They are uh, about three to five centimeters, so very tiny extremely light, um, the smallest being the bee hummingbird and uh, from a, a traveling point of view they can dive like dive bomb out of the sky in excess of 80 kilometers per hour uh, or basically 49 miles per hour so um, they have a extremely high metabolism rate um, wind beats um, can go up to 25 to 30 beats per second. They tend to, uh, as you probably know, they hover. They have the ability to hover at a bird feeder, for example. Um, and so they would adjust their wing beats and their actually wingspan to hover and deal with the wind current so that they can just sort of sit um, and eat in peace and not fly all over the place. They are, uh, one of the, here's a neat thing for you, they generally only like to go after flowers that are reds and oranges um, because that's the colors they can see. Uh, they will go after other flowers, the blues, the purples, but they uh, generally can't see them as well so they tend to stay away from them. They um, are very evolutionary um, and again it kind of goes back to where they are in the, in the environment we have some where I live. I've only ever seen one once and uh, it looked like a flying ma <laughs> flying bee. So it kind of scared me because all I saw was this little three centimeter black thing floating right by my head with this huge what I thought was a stinger. Turns out it was a beak um, or a bill and I screamed like a mad girl and ran off because I thought I was going to get killed by a flying bee. Um, males tend to be smaller in the smaller species of hummingbirds and in the larger species of hummingbirds the males tend to be bigger so that's kind of interesting they the lifespan is a little bit different uh, because they're so small and have such a high metabolism um, they have problems living a long time uh, mostly between the time they hatch to fledgling there's a greater chance that they're going to unfortunately pass away 
but the ones that can tend to get past that point can actually live, you know, five, seven, ten years. So it, it just seems like it's very critical uh, at the early stages of their life to survive. Um, other than that, um, they've been around. Everybody seems to like these things. They, um, because they need like a sugar diet almost, hummingbird feeders actually, sometimes people just put sugar in the water and they, it's like they go get a coffee <laughs> and uh, that's what gives them all their energy. They can go into a, um, very similar to a hibernative state if they can't find food because they always need it um, just to maintain heart rate and everything. But if they need to, they can go into a hibernation mode as well. So other than that, um, I hope you have a great day. I'm looking forward to a lot of things coming up in Shark Week. Please like and subscribe and uh, appreciate all the support. Take care.